Chris from Key Farm. Welcome back to the channel. So, if you watched Key Farm Clips Episode 3, there was a line in there where I was talking about the fence charger wasn't working and, and the fence chargers tore up. So, putting electric up right now may be more difficult. What do you mean, may be more difficult? It's the only power we got. It will be much more difficult. That's why I kept having goats get their heads stuck in the fence because normally I run electricity in front of the fence but I haven't had goats in so long that's not like that and my fence charger was having problems. Now your fence charger can go bad and none of your animals will get out for a long time because they don't like electricity and if they've ever experienced it they won't test it for a long long time. But I gotta have a working fence charger no matter what. So here's my fence charger it's a Zariba 5 mile charger. Now this is what they call a throwaway charger, okay? This one is not one that you would normally order parts for. Um, you can't type in, um, uh, there's a 10 mile that looks a lot like this. You can, you can pull it up on the internet and there's all kind of parts for it. This one here, not so much. So, um, in true redneck fashion, I brought it home. If you see me handling this thing kind of gingerly, it's because in the past I had a DC charger, which basically this is a DC charger just with a solar panel along with a battery. And that thing that I had years ago, it quit working as well. And I was uh, working on it and it lit me up. So as good of a video as that would make, Try not for that to happen. Alright, so this thing had six screws in it. So I took all six screws out. And then this piece right here, this is where your T-post goes that holds it up. It had some clips here. I had to punch them in with a, a flathead screwdriver. And the same thing up here on these corners. And then I went to prying right here. And lo and behold, this thing comes off. How about that? So, with all of that done, this thing simply comes apart. This thing, just the outer case. You don't even need it. One note, your switch right here, my switch was kind of crunchy and bad. There was a piece of plastic in there, though. So I gotta put a screwdriver in there to turn mine on and off now. This is just a casing. We don't need it any longer. So this, this is all of your good stuff. So when I took that bottom piece off, that is when I found this. Six volt battery. So, I get on my um, second favorite website, of course YouTube being my favorite, um, eBay, I punch in all these numbers in that name, and hey, battery comes up just like it. $14 delivered to the door. I mean, you can't, believe, you can't beat that. So, um, I ordered the battery, and we're going to do a little check. <sighs> I don't want to get lit up. I've been shocked several times. The last time I was shocked hard was by a fish. I, you heard me, by a fish. I'll tell y'all that story. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna set this thing up like this where I can get to the on and off switch and y'all can see, I'm gonna use this battery to kind of prop it up. All right, these are just little quarter inch slide on clips. Slide that one on the new battery, on the positive. Slide that one on the new battery, on the negative. Okay, one thing you need to know is this fence charger, when it was dark or overcast, it wouldn't do a thing. But when the sun was shining bright into the solar panel, this light would blink, saying that the fence was okay. But it wouldn't blink every second like it was supposed to, and it didn't power the fence. It's like it was making enough power through the solar panel to power the light every second or second and a half, but not enough to put anything on the fence because it's got to have a battery reserve. So I'm thinking all that's wrong with this is that battery's bad. So I'm going to take my screwdriver now and I'm going to very carefully Turn the fence charger charger. Ugh. Turn the fence charger on. Now, if this is doing like it needs to do, even in the camera, you should be able to hear a pop, and we should have a blue flame jump in there. All right, so 
touch this one to the ground, look. Our light is blinking good, and another telltale sign that a charger is working good is you can hear it pop. And I can hear it pop. So make sure I'm not touching anything dangerous. That pop right there, that, um, that'll keep in any animal I got. Because pigs don't like electricity, and goats, goats will test it a little bit more than pigs. Pigs are easy to keep in electric. Um, and goats, once they touch it once or twice, they'll quit getting their head stuck in the fence. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassemble this with the new battery installed. And I know, now that I think they advertised that this charger will run for 28 days in total darkness with a good battery. So, I'm thinking, even if I had to, uh, buy another battery and just swap out batteries every three weeks, that would get me by without having to buy that $185 charger. The one I'm going to show you a picture of right now. So, um, of course, we have a generator for the farm now, so, but we don't have constant electricity. So, solar is pretty much the way to go for us. Like I said, in the past I had a DC charger where you had to set a car battery there and you had to swap that battery out every six weeks, but you know, a lot of times a, a battery, a, a deep cycle battery will only last a little over a year and they're $100 each. And um, this charger on eBay is 150 and the one that I want, if this one's not good, is 185 But really, since that light's blinking, and this charger says it all. Let's do it one more time. Oh yeah, I like that. So, <clears throat> if you have a Zariba five mile charger, it can be fixed. You don't you don't just have to scrap it. Oh, by the way, I did buy the extended warranty on this one, but I think it came with either a year or 90 days to begin with, and then I bought the extra two years. Well, I've had it longer than three years, so no matter no matter what the first warranty was, um, it's all on me now. So anyway, this is Chris from Key Farm. Love God, love people. Thanks for watching, and maybe you can fix your charger too. I don't know, just don't get shocked, because it hurts. And I'll tell you the fish story later.